Hello, welcome to the video. I'm going to be testing Elden Ring on my 4090 at 4K. Uh, we've got 4K resolution set here. I do have the FPS uncapped as well, so we don't have a 60 FPS limit. Uh, ray tracing is maxed out. We've got that here. And then all the other settings are also maxed out. So some of the settings are high and some go to maximum. Uh, we've got motion blur off. The rest are max here and then the rest are high on maximum here. So these ones, that's the highest they can go. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, first things, make sure you like the video and you're all, make sure you also subscribe to the channel. It helps me out big time. Um, it's looking like we're getting about almost 90 FPS here, between 80 and 90. I haven't actually played too much with the frame rate on cap. Normally I'm capped at 60, so this will be interesting to see. It's obviously a little bit more demanding with ray tracing on. We'll check it out with it off in a little bit. Dips down here into the mid 70s. Yeah, I'll attack this guy. Attack him from behind. How do I block? I can't remember the controls. Alright. I don't even think these guys will attack me, will they? Whoa, what the hell? Oh, my health. That's not good. How do I heal up? So yeah, looking like we're kind of between the 70 FPS and 90 FPS range at the moment. VRAM's not looking too bad, even with ray tracing on. Sitting about 7, just under 7.5. I'm going to try and get this guy up here. Power as well looks okay. Only using about 250 watts. Which is really not too bad for my 4090. I've just knocked whatever that is off. So yeah, and even our lows here, I mean, it's very smooth. No stuttering or anything like that. The lows, 0.1%, low 47 is pretty good. What is this guy up to? Oh, there's a guy on a horse. That's always not good. I'm not I'm not particularly good at this game. I haven't really played it that much. But I thought it'd be cool to check out. Hit up to about 90 there. Bit of a stutter though. Okay, these guys do attack me. Why am I thinking these guys these guys shouldn't really be attacking me, should they? Now he's running away. Pretty good looking game. I'll have to maybe try and get this game on my Steam Deck. It'd probably be a good game for the Steam Deck, wouldn't it? But not looking overall, not really too bad on my hardware, even with ray tracing maxed out. It looks nice here. Look at the visuals here. That looks nice. Like even on my CPU, 13, 14%, not too bad. 4900K is at about under 60 degrees, so it's really not too bad. Look at this. Oh, God. I'm going to get attacked here big time. Okay, so I'll have a little look in the forest bit here. It seems like maybe the FPS will dip a little bit lower. We're actually getting under 60 here as well. So quite a, quite a bit lower than the other area we were in. Yeah, 57. So even still, although we're getting kind of 90-ish, 90, 90 to 95 max in the other areas, still getting some dips under 60 here with ray tracing on. So there's definitely going to probably some like dense foresty areas. Kind of reminds me a little bit of The Witcher, where you get these these oh damn, you get these dense forest areas that really kind of bring your FPS down compared to the other areas. 
In the combat, though, I seem to get an increase of FPS when I'm in the combat, it seems. Let me keep an eye on it. Yeah. So it seems to creep up, but then we're back down there. It seems to creep up a little bit sometimes. They're like 65. It fluctuates a little. When we're in the combat, it seems to fluctuate a bit. Okay, so I'm now going to take a look with ray tracing off. So we're still at 4K. Uh, and then we've got ray tracing quality set to off here. And then we've got all the other graphic settings are, are still set to the highest that they can be. So they're all maxed out, so maximum or high. Um, let's have a look at the FPS on that. So it's looking straight away here. It's looking about a kind of 40 to 50 FPS increase from where we are, which is quite a lot. It's quite a big jump. I know for ray tracing normally, switching on and off, you can normally gain about 40 fps by switching it off on average probably but it really depends obviously what ray tracing is implemented if it's just ray trace like ambient occlusion sometimes it's only 10 fps so but in this in this particular area we're probably getting about 70 to 90 and now we're looking like we're getting about 120 110 to 120 maybe slightly more so Looking at probably average about 40-ish FPS on, uh, on average. Which is a lot. I am noticing power. GP power seems to be higher with ray tracing off. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. VRM has come down a little bit by about... Half a gig by the looks of it. We had about 7.3, 7 7.4, so almost half. See, uh, check out some of the combat here. There's a lot of wolves, though. So it's come down a little bit. A little bit closer to 100. Frame time looks a little bit nicer. Oh, damn. Even if we go over to... We'll have a look at maybe the slightly denser forest areas and see if we get any dips under 100. Uh, but it seems... Hardware-wise, kind of, yeah, still not too bad. Uh, like, CPUs may be slightly higher, but really not that much. Maybe 1 or 2%. Everything else is, like, not really massively different. GPU usage, still pretty high. Seemed to, cap, like, cap out at, like, 96, 97, though. We had about 98 before. So, obviously, playing this 4K with no ray tracing, you're going to get closer to 144 with your FPS uncapped, obviously, because the game normally caps it at 60. Um, to be honest, I'm not really overly fussed about playing this game at, at 144 FPS. Even anything above 100. I mean, anything above 60, really, I think. Between 60 and 80 with ray tracing on, I think is fine, to be honest. So, yeah, dip down here. In this forest area, we had dips under 60 with ray tracing on. We're getting almost under 100, like pretty much bang on 100 here. Not quite dipping underneath. Can't say either, to be honest. I... I don't think there's really a massive difference with ray tracing to uh, to condone a kind of 40 FPS difference. The game still looks nice even without it. So I think maybe with when light is like this, you can maybe notice a little difference. But is it worth 40 FPS? Seems like quite a big sacrifice to make. Okay, so now I'm going to just take a look with ray tracing quality set to low. I'm still at 4K with everything maxed out still, graphics-wise. Um, I just wanted to kind of see 
how much of an improvement there was between it being set to maximum um, and low and obviously off as well. Doesn't seem like there's really a massive performance game from setting it to maximum to low, to be honest. Slightly higher frames. Not probably going to see quite as many dips to like 70. We're cl closer to 90s consistently. I'm not good at fighting those horse... horse men. But yeah, I'd say maybe it's probably giving us, on average, maybe like a 5 to 10 FPS max increase. We're breaking 100 here, which we didn't break so much, so... Yeah, maybe 10. It's, it's really not a huge gain. Between the two. Um, I'll have a look at this area here. Because I know when we had ray tracing set to max. We were getting some dips under 60. Um, so we're still. It's still. It's still very heavy here. 57 still. So yeah. I really don't. I think maybe on average you're gaining. Like I said. Maybe between a 5 FPS. And 10 FPS. On the, on the kind of highest level. 10 that you could gain. Going from maximum to low. It's really not. You know, the, the biggest gain you'll get is by switching ray tracing off altogether. Doesn't seem too much of a difference between the kind of low... You know, you've got low, medium, high, and maximum. So, like, even between maximum and high, there's really not going to be very many frames between those. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you next time.